Good morning. I'll just wait for a few people to jump onto the live. A few people arriving now. Hello. Morning, everyone. It's just about morning still, isn't it? Just wait while everyone joins. Hello, lovely to see you all here today. Recognise some names popping up there. Good morning, everyone. So if you don't know me, I am Jen from Castleview Yarns. You can find me on Instagram at Castleview Yarns, just all one word. Um, and my website is castleviewyarns.com. Very simple and easy. Morning everyone. So I'm going to jump in. I've got some new things to show you today. So the theme for today's Yorkshire Yarn Fest is Midsummer and I have made both a variegated skein and a set of minis um, which you can see all stacked up behind me now and actually <laughs> <laughs> kind of coordinates really nicely with my banner which I know you can't see a lot of it's kind of hidden behind here um that was not intentional I've only just kind of clocked that, that, <laughs> that the colors are the same and um, it's fine it's all good it's on brand um so I will show you the main skein first now it's quite sunny in here so I don't know how well ooh, it's kind of blowing out the light is going to to show this but obviously there will be pictures on my own Instagram and on my website. My shop is not updated yet, the update goes live at midday after this session. Um, just so that it gives you a chance to have a look at things before everything sells out, which it has done in the past. Now this is really really blowing out but Midsummer is a variegated yarn. It's got a base of yellows, peaches and corals and then it's full of fun speckles in kind of bright tangerine, purple, hot pink, really fun. So this is called Midsummer and this is the main main skein for this month's Yorkshire Yarn Fest. Now along with that I've also created this set of minis, so it's a set of 10 colours. I've got one out so I don't have to rustle too much for you. Um, so you can sort of see it there. So this is on the gold sparkle sock, which is my favourite. I've got it on sock. Um, 10 gram sets on sock. 20 gram sets on sock. Let's hold it there, try and get rid of those reflections for you. There is also 20 gram sets on DK um, and then some jumbo sets which I need two hands for because they're giant so these are 50 gram skeins so 10 colors 50 grams you've got 500 grams there this would make an amazing faded uh, sweater or cardigan I'll stop rustling now um, or you could use, I mean, so many, so many lovely faded garments and shawls and, and all sorts at the moment, aren't there? So yes, so set of 10 minis going from yellow through to kind of, it's kind of tangerine oranges through to coral, um, sliding into pink, hot pink, this kind of deeper pink, and then into purples at the end. I'll just show you those. So the sparkle sock, I really, really love. It's a higher twist than my normal sock. I don't know if you can kind of see this, the glitz there. It's a 75% a superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% gold stellina. So it just gives everything a really beautiful glow, and especially in the summer, I was kind of inspired by the idea of cocktails on the beach at sunset. One can dream, right? <laughs> um, and I thought a little bit of gold glitz would just 
be beautiful in the sunlight. So that's my personal favourite, don't tell the others. <laughs> so that's the mini skein set. So there are lots and lots and lots of those in the shop. So I'm really hoping that I've dyed up enough for everybody that wants one. There really should be. I've got loads and loads um, on, on the different bases. So those will be going into the shop in a quarter of an hour at midday. I thought I would show you a couple of combinations with the main skein. So this main skein is also available on the gold sparkle sock, normal sock and the DK. And a couple of my tonals that it goes really nicely with. This one is Ocean Blooms, which you can see is kind of a coral, coral colour. So that goes really nicely with it. A two colour combination there. Um, it also goes really beautifully with the pink. The pink uh, was called Dolores. It's now been renamed. It's now called Troll Hair. So this pink is now Troll Hair. This pink goes with everything everything. I have not yet found a colour that this does not go with, in my opinion. Um, you could also put it with the purple, which again has been renamed. So it used to be called Triple Decker. This has now been renamed to Ways to be Wicked. Um, and if you have seen Disney's Descendants, this is the colour of <laughs> the hair of one of the characters. So Ways to be Wicked. And I'm sorry it's blowing out so much. Better pictures on the website or on my Instagram um, to get a good idea of the colours. Now this also goes really nicely with another renamed colourway, which, oh the sun is going in maybe. Wow. <laughs> I hold it all the way back here but you can't really see it. Um, so this was Wingardium Leviosa. This has now been renamed. Um, this is now called Duchess and Marie. Let's see if we can, what happens if I do this? Nothing, wow, it's blowing out crazy, crazy much. How can I get it to kind of reset? Come on camera. There we go, that's better, a little bit. So Duchess and Marie is a base of kind of um, silvery grey, I've got it really close, you might be able to see the colour. Silvery grey with pops of pink, kind of peachy reds, corals. So this is Duchess and Marie now, and this is it with the Midsummer. And this would make a lovely fade. You could put something like Ocean Blooms to one side and Marilyn's Beard to the other side. That would be an amazing, come on camera, four colour, <laughs> four colour sort of fade maybe. It would make a fun volcano trail or something like that. If anybody wants to see any particular colours together, um, <laughs> this is not necessarily the best way because they're not showing up great. But um, just send me a message and I would be more than happy to show you colours together after this live session. Um, so I've got one more colourway to show you today, another new colourway. This is called Kiss the Girl. So again, I've got this on sock and on DK weight. My DK weight, my standard DK weight is also a 75-25 blend. Superwash Merino 75% and 25% nylon. So Kiss the Girl. This has got a base of this kind of tealy turquoise and then it's got all sorts of colours in it. It's got pinks and purples and orange, lots and lots of different colours. So like I did tell you that this goes with everything. Um, and I think that that is a lovely, lovely combination there. Uh, the DK Weight Yarn, what crochet hook do you recommend? Someone's just asking. Um, probably around about a four... Four to five would be, would be about right. And it crochets up beautifully. So you could also put Kiss the Girl with something like Hades. 
Also a really nice combination and Hades is back in stock today. Um, and it also would be quite a fun fade with water lilies, which again is back in stock. Hades, it's a nice kind of three color, three color fade. Um, I'm struggling to show you colors because it's blowing out quite a bit. <laughs> So it's hard to hard to kind of show you. Um, there are a couple of other relaunched colorways today. Um, so you might have noticed that I've just renamed a few of my colors. Um, so the other ones that are renamed are the bright green, which is now called Wazowski from um, Monsters Inc. And that goes really nicely with this one, which is Scream Team, which was new fairly recently. So this has got those kind of pops of neon green and blue. Uh, and then the other renamed one is my kind of dark, dark gray. This was the Grim um, and is now called Stolen Wings. And that is based on Maleficent. So this is, this is the, the renamed colorways. Love your rainbow dress. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yes, of a rainbow. Okay, the final um, combination that I was going to show you, which is another fade with the Midsummer. Oh, goodness me, it doesn't like this colour. Let's see, can we do it? <laughs> kind of peering around to see if you can see it. So Midsummer at the top, Dingle Hopper there in the middle, and Duchess and Marie at the bottom. Is that showing? <laughs> Let's hope so. There we go. So that's a really fun three colour fade. So there we are. <laughs> I've got a couple of minutes left. Is there anything else that anybody in particular wants to see? Otherwise, I'll just keep showing you um, some combinations. But let me know. So I'll just keep going. If I see anything pop up, then I'll do my best to try and show it. So Kiss the Girls, some other combinations that might be good with that are the purple. So this is Ways to be Wicked. It would also be fun with Won't Go Speechless, which is this amazing kind of turquoisey green, which never shows up right on camera. So that's fun. Silly Old Bear. I don't think I bought it upstairs, I'm afraid. I think it's downstairs. Um, Silly Old Bear is a kind of goldy colourway. It's more muted than the yellows in the in the mini skeins. So I'll just show you the mini skeins again. So the mini skein set from yellow through to the oranges, peaches, corals, pinks, and then up to the purples. So it's a set of 10. That's that one. What else are we asking? The light grey one. This is Merlin's beard. Merlin's beard goes with pretty much everything as well. Show you it with with all sorts. It goes with goes with everything. It fades nicely into this one, which is the renamed Duchess and Marie. Um, what else have we got? Agnes fade. So Agnes. Oh. Agnes and Agatha. These are really pretty. I love this pair. Go closer. Agnes and Agatha. Sorry, I feel like I'm kind of waving yarn at the camera because it's it's blowing out. So this is Agnes and Agatha. Um, and the middle pink, which was that in the set of three? Was that this set of three? <laughs> this set of three? So the one in the middle here is called Dingle Hopper. So this is pinkier than Midsummer. It's not quite as corally orange. Uh, there we go. So it's pinkier, pinkier than that. Um, and just quickly, the mini skeins with the purple. Yes. So I've got where have I put three kind of purples in the shop at the moment. So I've got Ways to Be Wicked, Agatha, which is more muted, and this one is Evil Queen. Which is a kind of pinky purple. Um, and I'll just grab the minis. 
dropping everything on the floor. So there we go. So that's to kind of compare them for you. I can take proper pictures of these when we're done here. <laughs> um, where the light, oh look, the sun's going behind a cloud now. Typical, isn't it? Just as I'm about to finish. Um, so that amazingly is my time up. Thank you ever so much everyone for joining me. The shop will be updated in about five minutes time at midday and that is castleviewyarns.com or one word and you can find me on Instagram at the same place at castleviewyarns. So thank you very much everyone and enjoy the rest of your Saturday and I will see you again very soon. Bye!